Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Caitlin here and today I'm going to be doing a hairstyle video for you. I think I have around 10 hairstyles to show you. I'm not too sure how many I've filmed. Most of these I do wear a lot throughout the summer because they're really great at getting your hair off your face and I just feel a lot more fresher and not so sweaty when I wear these hairstyles. So they're definitely perfect for summer and obviously you don't need to use heat with these hairstyles because your hair is all tied back and off your face and there's no need for hot tools at all. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do like these type of videos, then definitely give this video a thumbs up to let me know. And if you're new, then feel free to subscribe and join my channel if you're just passing by. I think without further ado, I will just get on and show you the hairstyles. Let's go. So for hairstyle number one, I'm gonna begin by pleating the front sections of my hair, as you can see here. Just a plain, simple braid all the way down to the bottom. And then I'm just repeating that on the other side. So we have two braids on each side of my head. Then I'm gonna take the top section of my hair and then I'm just adding in the braids on either side and then twisting it up into a top knot bun. And this is hairstyle number one completed. So for hairstyle number two, I'm going to split my hair into a side parting and I'm going to section off the front section of my hair and I'm going to begin braiding that back. I'm making sure that whilst I braid it, I pull it back slightly, that way it just forms the correct shape for when we pull it back into our hair. So I'm just tying that off at the bottom and then I'm going to grab all my hair together at the bottom of my neck and put it into a low ponytail adding in that braid and then tying it off and making sure it's nice and volumized by pulling the top parts of the ponytail. So this is the completed second hairstyle, it's just a low voluminous ponytail with a side braid. So hairstyle number two, we're going back to a middle parting, so I'm just splitting off my hair here and then I'm taking the front section of my head and I'm going to begin by twisting the two halves together twice and then I'm going to continue twisting and adding in sections to the twist from underneath. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing, but basically with every twist I add in more hair to the lower section. It basically creates the illusion of a French braid. It's a lot easier and a lot faster, so if you struggle with French braiding, then definitely try out this twisting technique. So as you can see, I'm just repeating that on the second side. I always begin by doing a double twist at the front and then I go in with adding sections every time I twist. So I'm just twisting my hair all the way to the back. And then I'm grabbing the two sections, popping them into a ponytail and that is the completed third hairstyle. And personally, I think this is one of my favorites. I absolutely love this hairstyle. It is just so, so pretty, but so, so easy to do. Okay, for my next hairstyle, I'm flipping my hair up into a ponytail. This is not obviously the completed hairstyle, I'm just joking. So I'm gonna be taking two sections of hair from underneath and then tying it together and then flipping it inside itself. So hopefully you guys can eventually get what I'm doing. I'm sorry, I definitely didn't show this very well in the video footage, but basically just taking two sections from underneath tying them together and then twisting it underneath itself. And the idea of this is basically just a cheat way of creating a fishtail braid. It's so much easier and less fiddly. So if you're struggling to do a fishtail braid, then try this option out. And this is completed hairstyle number four. So 
Moving on to number five, we're gonna take the two front sections of my hair and pull them to the back. Then I am just tying those two sections together and then similar to the previous hairstyle, I'm just flipping that underneath itself. So I'm repeating that again, taking two sections from the side of my head, tying it together and then flipping it underneath itself. And then as you can see, I'm just repeating that for a third time. And this is the completed third hairstyle. It's basically just a fancier, spiced up version of a half up, half down hairstyle. It gets your hair off your face, but it also is just super pretty and very elegant. This hairstyle would definitely be super appropriate for a wedding or a garden party in the summertime. So continuing on for hairstyle number six, I'm going to be just braiding the lower section of my hair which we previously just left straight. So I'm going to braid that all the way down to the bottom. As you can see, I have layers in my hair so different sections always poke out and it never looks that neat. But this is completed hairstyle number six. So for number seven, I am going to be taking the top section of my hair and just tying it off into a ponytail. So basically, this is just my way of doing a half up, half down hairstyle. I know this is super basic, but I wear this all the time and I really think that pulling out two sections of hair from the front looks super cute and I love wearing it in the summertime. So this is hairstyle number seven. So hairstyle number eight is kind of similar to the previous hairstyle because we are taking out sections from the front. This seems to be my favorite thing to do this summer. And then I am just wrapping my hair into a top knot bun. Again, super easy, but definitely a go-to hairstyle of mine in the summertime. Now for the second last hairstyle, I'm going to be taking my hair to the side of my head and then twisting it into two sections and then tying it into a side ponytail. Then I'm going to be tying my hair with another bobble slightly lower down and as you can see I'm just splitting it in the center to create a hole and flipping my hair inside it. So I'm just repeating that again, creating a hole and then flipping my hair inside. This is again a really easy, cheap way of doing a fishtail braid, so if you're struggling, try this technique out. So this is hairstyle number 9, a really cute, easy way to do a fishtail side braid. So for the final hairstyle, this is a little bit more adventurous for me, but it's basically a way of creating the illusion of cornrow type braids in your hair, but obviously much more easier and simple. So I'm basically just splitting off small sections of my hair and then twisting them really, really tightly, adding in small chunks of hair as I go, and then I just pin it at the back with a Kirby grip. Obviously this is not the way that anyone would do cornrows, but the overall look is kind of similar and obviously a lot faster and easier to do. So I'm just repeating that for about six sections on my head and then pinning them all at the back So once you're finished twisting all the sections of your hair, it looks like this. Mine aren't super neat, but if you did do it a lot tighter, it would probably be a little bit more effective. And this is completed hairstyle number 10. So those were all the hairstyles which I had to show you in this video. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. 
and that you found my hairstyles helpful and a source of inspiration for your summer. And um, yes, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you soon in my next video. Bye!